better, but maybe you're not sure where to start? Well, my next guest say start in the garden. Southwest Florida Veg Fest is sprouting up this weekend in Centennial Park. Carnivores, don't turn up your nose. You're invited too. Please welcome Mike Young, who helped organize the Veg Fest, and I've got Julie Butcher, who owns a vegan bakery here in town. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about Veg Fest, because I understand it's not just for vegans or vegetarians. It's really anyone who's veg curious, as you call it. True, yeah, we want to open it up for everyone. It's a free event in Centennial Park mm -hmm. this weekend on Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And really, we just we have everything that's uh, vegetarian, vegeta actually, vegetarian, vegan, plant-based. Everything we have is, surrounds that, but we welcome everyone. We want you to find out what it's like. You know? Lots of cool stuff there, too. I understand there's a bike valet, yes. so you can ride your bike ride your on bike. there. Yeah. And what exactly. about the composting? Yeah, com everything's going to be composted out there. We're going to have all recyclable materials as well. Even the vendors have to have things that can be composted. That's really cool. So even if you're into the environment, you know, this is something that we can learn a lot and maybe taste some foods because you have a lot of vendors yeah. coming out yeah. as well. One of them just happens to be Julie Butcher, who owns The Vegan Knife. And I have to tell you that I asked her if she named her business The Vegan Knife because her last name is Butcher. But you said that <laughs> that would just happen to be a coincidence. Yes, I actually, that's my married name, so, um, yeah. Did you we... marry him because his last name is Butcher because it fits in so well? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he must be a good guy then. All right, so yeah. tell me about, a little bit about your business. Well, um, I basically started um, The Vegan Knife. We mm -hmm. basically specialized in uh, cupcakes, donuts. All of our products are vegan. Vegan, and wow. they're also gluten-free. I started it because I was diagnosed some, with some food allergies a little bit late oh. in life, so I was actually forced to figure out how to eat, you know, this way. Because a girl needs her treats yes, still. Yes, you do. And speaking of treats, you brought some vegan donuts for yes. us, so I gotta try this. So tell me what makes it vegan. What did you take out? What do you put in instead? Well, basically, vegan, you don't have any animal products, so there's basically no eggs um, because they're gluten-free. There's no regular all-purpose oh, flour. Wow. Oh, thank you. We basically use um, garbanzo bean flour as our main no ingredient. Way. Yeah, fava bean flour, and we use organic coconut oil as well. That is really tasty. Thank and you, you said everything is nut free as well. Yes, our products right now you can find them at Ada's That's because yeah, because we don't have um, a storefront quite yet. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get them at Ada's at Ada's if you wish. Um, but all of our products right now are nut free. We might be rolling out some that have almond flour mm -hmm. in them, but not. I was right gonna say now. it kind of has like a like a little bit of a nutty taste, but it's nut free. That yep. that is amazing. And Julie. it's allergy friendly too, so good can't stuff. Go wrong. I'm just gonna keep this back here with me. Now it's not just the um, you know the, the food that you can sample. Bring your cash too. Do they yep. take debit cards? Vendors, yeah, take, we'll take okay. cash, credit cards. Most of them will. Everything is vegan on site, yep. but there's also a race as well. Yes, we're having a 5K or a one mile walk, the plant power movement. Uh, we still you can sign up uh, registration online through our website. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be 8:30 in the morning right before the event, and also we are gonna have speakers at the event, mostly yes. physicians actually through Lee Health. Is, Lee Health is our main sponsor, mm -hmm. so there'll be a lot of physicians who will be able to learn about how these things are better for you. Yes. And than they, what you might be eating now. We'll have cooking demonstrations where you can learn how to make things like this. People will be showing that. I'm just going to buy them from Kids Julie, zones. You know? <laughs> yeah, all, all kinds of things. Things for all ages. So bring the kids. Omnivores, carbonivores, vegans, all of the above. You are invited to the 2017 Southwest Florida Veg Fest. And I'm telling you, these vegan donuts, one, you're going to want one of these, I promise. you got to try it there. All right, and of course, we'll have this information up on our website, foxboromorningblend.com. Okay. I am now a vegan believer, but do you believe in unicorns? I was shocked, just shocked, to learn that my co-host Stephanie does not. It's not cool. I am determined, though, to get her drink in the unicorn Kool-Aid or latte. I'll explain after the break. If you like me.